right down the home stretch. Let's see if you can win this time. Left and a right, and then victory. Oh, gotta get past that oil slit. What? Ah. Oh. <sighs> Every time. You beat me every single time because of that same obstacle. I just figured you weren't paying attention. Emma, you know me. When do I not pay attention? Yeah. That's not you at all. Jesus would probably help you, so I will too. You just hit this button. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have that button. Oh, look at that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. Really, Jay, I did not know that your controller didn't have that button. Okay, well, there's got to be another way around that obstacle if my controller doesn't even have that button. Racing is fun. It would be awesome if it wasn't just a game. Wait, like, really racing? Yeah. You thinking what I'm thinking? Green light. That means go. Yeah, I got it. Three, two, one, press, press play! play! Boom. Boom! Whoa, where are we? It looks like we're in the backseat of a car. Oh, not just any car. We're in the backseat of a race car in the middle of a race. Ah! Ah! Hey, pipe down back there. Oh. Trying to win a race here. Pop, lock, engage. <laughs> oh. So long. These other drivers try to throw all kinds of tricks at me, but it doesn't work. Back in the lead again. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? The name's Benjamin Bernard Bradley Burstock Brumbly Bishop Baccarat Bismarck Bertram Fast! People just call me B-Fast. That's spelled B-H-A-S-T. Because when I'm racing, I'm piping hot and scalding the road. Woo! Nice to meet you, B-Fast. I'm Jay and this is Emma. Whoa, watch out for the tire on the tracks. Whoa! 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 Is left. What's wrong, Emma? Uh-oh. Oh, yep, I knew it when I laid eyes on her. She's a go-greener. Oh, what's a go-greener? You're starting to turn green, and your stomach's probably feeling funny. Lucky for you, this race here is almost over. <laughs> Only got enough time to tell you guys a Bible story that just came to mind. It's about obstacles. Like that oil spill right there. <laughs> <laughs> comes from the Book of Numbers, chapters 13 and 14. The Israelites had found the land God had promised. It was called Canaan, but there was a problem. They didn't know the people who were living there. An obstacle. Mm-hmm, yep, but not too big for God. So Moses sent people to explore the whole land of Canaan. They were supposed to check it out and come in back with a report. And they did. The report was that the land was everything God had promised. But the people were strong, and most of the spies were scared that they couldn't defeat them. But Caleb, one of the spies, thought differently. Numbers 1330, it says, then Caleb silenced the people before Moses said, we should go up and take the possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Caleb believed that if God gave them the land, then God would help them live in it. They didn't need to be afraid of even the biggest obstacle. I uh, don't mean to be rude, interrupt your story, but speaking of big obstacles, I think there's a crash in front of us and I'm not sure you see it. Oh! Oh! Whoa, I see it! Hold on! Pop, lock, and go! <laughs> oh, she's grass green. <laughs> Better hurry this up. Because of this report, the Israelites began to complain, saying they should have stayed in Egypt, where they were slaves. But four of them, Moses, Aaron, Joshua, and Caleb, told a different tale. In chapter 14, verses 7 and 8, they told everyone, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and they will give it to us. They told the people not to rebel against God, but to trust God because they knew obstacles are no problem for God. Whoa! Oh, thank goodness. Oh. We gotta go, be fast. Oh, so do I. There's a checkered flag. Pop, lock, engage. Here, with one hand, I'm gonna win this race. And with the other, I'm gonna do the secret handshake. Turn to your neighbor and join in. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. 
You feeling like a quick race? Yeah, let's go. Oh, well, I, I meant, um, well, never mind. Going green again. We pressed play and ended up in the backseat of a race car with B Fast. Not only did he get around every obstacle and win the race, but he taught us about numbers 13 and 14. Moses sent spies into Canaan to explore. Most of them were scared of what they found, but a couple weren't. They knew that obstacles are no problem for God, and we can live the same way. <gasps> I won! <laughs> sure. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse! Here we go, are you ready to drop the verse? Tell them, Emma. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go right now. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. One more time, let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. One more, let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. Woo! Hebrews 10.23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.